consider this question here they are saying determine the minimal SOP and POS for this following K maps consider the first K map see whenever we are finding SOP that means we are going to take all the one terms and whenever we are going to find POS that means uh, uh, SOP is sum of product and POS in product of sum whenever we are finding POS that means we are going to take all the terms which is having zeros so for the first K map if I am trying to find what is the SOP that means we are going to take all the one terms and here uh, we will not be make we will not be able to make a bigger sub q which uh, which is having more than uh, one cell so uh, we have to include all these cells right so the first one this one is denoting uh, a complement b c complement d plus this one is denoting a complement b plus c d complement so a complement b dot c d complement this one is denoting a, com a b complement c complement d plus this one is denoting a b complement c d complement ok so from this first two you can take a complement b as common so it will be a complement b inside we can have c complement d plus c d complement plus from these two you can take uh, AB complement as common so inside we will be having C complement D plus C D complement so you can clearly see this is C XOR D this is also C XOR D so the equation will become uh, A complement B uh, C XOR D plus AB complement C XOR D further you can take C XOR D as common so inside we will be having A complement B plus a b complement dot c xor d this is a xor b so it is a complement so a this is a xor b a xor b dot c xor d this is a xor b dot c xor d now uh, take if you want to find the minimal pos product of sum so in case of product of sum because we are having more number of zeros as compared to the number of ones so we can make sub cubes in case of pos this will make a sub cube this will make a sub cube this will make a sub cube as well as this will make a sub cube so we are going to have four subcubes and all these four subcubes are essential because this subcube is covering zero which is not covering it by anything else this subcube is covering this zero which is not covered by anything else this subcube is covering this zero which is not covered by anything else and this subcube is covering this zero and this zero which is not covered by anything else so if we determine if we should denote this by uh, product of product of sum or you can say max term then this subcube will be denoting uh, this is denoting zero zero right so this will be denoting a plus b okay and this sub cube will be denoting c complement plus d complement this sub cube it will be denoting c plus d and this sub cube it will be denoting a complement plus b complement therefore the pos expression for this k map will be a plus b dot a complement plus b complement dot c plus d dot c complement plus d complement you can further solve this one okay now for this expression for this one you can also try this one so you will be making this is a sub cube for sop this will be a sub cube this will be a sub cube as well as this will be a sub cube right so the first sub cube this one this sub cube is denoting c complement d complement this sub cube is denoting CD this sub cube is noting AB and this sub cube is noting A complement B complement therefore we will be having CD plus C complement D complement plus AB plus A complement B complement so further you can see this is X nor so C X nor D plus A X nor B okay now if you take this K map and here these terms will be zero if you try to find SOP so in case of SOP this will be a sub cube as well as we can also make this sub cube and both of them are essential prime here also uh, this was essential prime okay <coughs> sorry <coughs> so
सो दिस सब क्यूब इज एक्चुअली डिनोटिंग इट इज डिनोटिंग बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट एट दिस सब क्यूब इज डिनोटिंग ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो सोल्यूशन विल बी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस डी कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर एस ओ पी एंड इफ यू ट्राई टू फाइंड पी ओ एस पी ओ एस मीन दैट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द टर्म्स विच आर जीरो सो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस सब क्यू एज वेल एज वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस सब क्यू सो फॉर पी ओ एस दिस सब क्यू इज डिनोटिंग बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट दिस सब क्यू इज डिनोटिंग ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओके फाइन Sorry. So uh, take this one. In this K map, we are going to make this sub cube as well as we can make this sub cube as well as we can make this sub cube. So uh, this sub cube is representing B, and this sub cube is representing A complement C complement. Therefore, the SOP will be A complement C complement plus B. A complement C complement plus B. If we try to find P O S, then these are the zero terms. So we are going to make this sub cube as well as we are going to make this sub cube. All these are essential primes. So uh, this will be. If I try to find P O S, then in case of P O S term, we are going to have C complement plus A complement dot. Uh, by this sub cube, we are going to have A complement plus B. A complement plus B. Okay, so let us take these sub cubes. If you uh, take this one, then you can make make sub cubes like this. But still, let me show you how you can make sub cube like this. If you take this one, then this one is uh, a b complement c complement plus this one is a complement b complement c. So from both of these two, you can take b complement as common. So it will become a c complement plus a complement c, which is equal to b complement dot a. xor c in the same way here you can clearly see we can have a dot a this one is a dot bc plus this one is a complement b c complement from these two you can take b as common so inside will be having ac plus a complement c complement which is equal to b uh, this is uh, a xor C. So the total solution equation for this K map will become uh, B complement A X R C plus B A X R C plus B A X R C. But you already know what is X R. X R is basically the uh, inverse or the or can say complement of X R. So you can also write it as B complement A X R C plus B A X R C. Whole complement. So this you can see this is B complement B. This is A X R C plus A X R C whole complement. So it can also be written as A X R C X R B. A X R C X R B. So for for this this kind of K map can also be written by A X R B X R C. So if you can see this kind of K map, then this kind of K map can denote X N O R. So it is A X N O R B X N O R C, which you can find out by practice. okay so uh, now let us try to take more questions after this